Hey everyone, I'm Dan and I'm building this expedition truck. So I've been pretty busy lately. The pressure is on me to get out of this shed by the end of the year, the start of next year. So I haven't really had enough time to film while I'm working because it just holds me up too much. So I'm just gonna make some update videos and show you what I've been doing. And today I'm going to show you the deck that I've made on top of the roof rack and all the little features that it has. So thank you all so much for watching and let's have a look. All right, here it is. This is the deck that is on the top of my roof rack. So this is where I sleep here. And this is all gonna be canvas around this roof here. And, you, and there'll be a big uh, opening panel in the front of this. So it will have a fly screen and a panel that opens up. So you'll be able to come out of there and onto the deck here. It's about 2.2 by 2.2 meters. It's aluminium decking and uh, these are all hatches. So there's about nine hatches here that open up and that uh, allows you access to the storage that is inside the deck. So I'll just set my tripod up and I'll give you a better look. All right, so this deck took quite a long time to make and people often ask me like, oh, why is it taking you so long to finish this truck? And this is a perfect example of why it's taking so long because this deck took ages because first of all, I had planned to put the deck, I had planned to make some frames up that, on hinges that lift up so you can get access to, to the storage underneath. But the decking was thicker than what I had originally planned for. And when you put the, the decking down on top of the subframe, the deck was as high as this tube that runs around the edge here. So, I didn't like that because it, first of all, it didn't look very good. And secondly, if there was something on top of the deck, like say, you know, an empty beer bottle and it rolled along, there would be nothing stopping it from just rolling straight off the edge. And it could roll off, you know, things could roll off more easily and break and also land on someone's head. It's pretty high up, up here. So you wouldn't want that. So to drop the decking down lower, I had to make some, I had to make hatches and I'll, I'll just show you how these hatches work. I've, got, I've made up some little keys that go down in between the decking, like this, you turn them 90 degrees and then you pull up and the hatches pop out. So to make the decking sit lower than the, than the tube, I had to make up these aluminum frames. I made them out of angle, two pieces of angle. Uh, so it makes like a, like a Z section and then I check the decking out and that sits down inside the hatch and then the lip of the hatch sits on the subframe. <clears throat> so first of all, I had to make nine of these frames <clears throat> out of aluminium. And then I had to put the decking in and check out each end of every piece of decking so they would sit down inside the frame and fix them in there. And that was tricky in itself because you know, you got to have the lines of the decking running nice and straight. So, but I had to make each hatch individually. I couldn't just lay long pieces of decking. So that was a bit tricky. But then I had to make, I had to put ball catches in, the, in each, every corner of each hatch. And I had to make corresponding brackets for each ball catch. So there's, there's nine hatches. So that's four catches for each hatch. So four times nine is whatever that is, about 40. I had to make about 40 individual brackets to mount the ball catches to. And that in itself took ages, you know, cause you gotta cut each one, drill it all out, you know, mount it on here, line it all up, get it all right. It took a long time. So that's one example because everything I do on this has to be custom made and it's all, you know, it's, it's not, it's nothing is, is done. You know, I don't have a drawing for anything. I'm just, sort of making it up as I go along. If I was to build another one of these, it'd be a lot quicker because I know what I have to do now, but that's one of the reasons why this is taking so long. So anyway, that's how that works. And the, the hatches just sit down in here. You just push them in. Now this deck has some really cool features aside from being, you know, it's, it's a pretty big area and it's up nice and high. I'm, I'm probably gonna have to put some kind of handrail around it, a temporary something that you can put up and take down because it's so high that you, you would get seriously injured if you fell off this. And just a, just something that goes around the edges of border, it doesn't necessarily need to be structural enough to hold someone up, but 
just having the border around here will, you know, stop, I think stop people from falling off because it just gives you an edge. So now I'll show you some of the cool features of this deck. First of all, I, you know, this is aluminum decking. So it's probably, I've never actually used aluminum decking before, but I assume that when the sun is directly on it, it's going to get pretty hot. So I wanted to have an awning that goes over the top of this. So what I've done is made some brackets that go on the front, on the top of the bedroom roof there, which I'll show you in a second. And I bought an awning and it stores in the front of the rack here. So you can take the awning out, put it on the roof and then extend it out. And I'll show you how that works now. Okay. So the awning stores in there and you just pull it out and it's got these pieces of tube here and they slide into the top of the bedroom roof. So I'll set up the camera and I'll show you how that works. I need to get a bit more gas put in these gas struts. And there it is. So the awning it extends out to the front of the truck, although it doesn't quite cover the entire width. It's a two meter awning and it's about 2.2, but it's gonna provide a nice amount of shade. And I'll put some, some LED lights up there that shine down onto this deck. So the poles, they go into these flush mount brackets here that I made up for the, that we go into the front of the rack. There's one on this side and there's one on that side. And there's a little bolt down in there that you can slide the pole in and then tension the bolt up to hold it in. And this awning, it's got a little bit of wobble back and forth. So I'm, I'm gonna get either an extendable pole that I can attach on a 45 to brace it up or I'll put some rope in between there and there. All right, so that's the awning. And the next feature of this deck is really cool. I was contemplating how I was gonna get things up onto this roof because it's so high up. How would I get things up if I wanted to say carry a kayak or if I had you know, to carry anything, a tinny or just anything that I wanted to tie down to the top of this roof rack. It would be really hard to get anything up here. So I thought, how do you get things up high? You need a crane. So what I did was I bought a little crane off eBay, just the sort of crane that goes on the back of a ute. It's a 450 kilo capacity and I mounted some, I, I made some mounting brackets on either side of the deck and the crane stores inside this hatch here. So you can take the crane out, you can mount it on this side or you can mount it on that side and then you can lift things up onto the deck. So I'll just set up and I'll show you how that works. So this is it. it. This is the mounting plate that I've put in. I'll put one of these on either side. I just welded in some 30 mil tube, a bit of six mil plate, and I put some 12 mil bolts coming up with wing nuts. So you can just put the wing nuts bolted on with the wing nuts. 
and there it is. It's uh, got 450 kilos when the boom is all the way in. When it's extended all the way out, it's 225 kilos and it spins around so you can lift things up with the winch, bring them around and drop them on the deck. I'll just go down and I'll give you a bit of a look from the side. There it is. And I think it looks really cool. I know it's a little bit of overkill, but you know, look at this whole thing. The whole thing's overkill. You could also run that hook down and hang like a chair or a hammock off it or something like that. And there's the flush mounted brackets in the front. Look nice and clean. Got the awning, got the crane. Just need to get the canvas done around there. Okay. So that's, that's, that's the deck. The next thing I'm gonna do, and I am gonna make a video of this, cause this is pretty interesting. I'll just show you the roof. So the rear section of the roof of this truck collects water and there's downpipes, 20 mil tube that run down inside this wall to a piece of one inch tube that runs along here. And then it's gonna run down there and I will put a, a connection that I can put a flexible, tube, flexible hose on and run it into the water tank. So I'll be able to catch rainwater. I've already made, I'm in the process of making all the brackets for that at the moment. So I'm just gonna make all the brackets and then I'll film the installation because you know, you guys have seen that a hundred times. It's just cutting and welding. So once I've got all the brackets made, I'll film the install of it all. And I'll just show you the downpipes. So as you know, this roof lifts up and down. So that means the downpipe has to lift up and down as well. And I didn't just wanna have, you know, one piece of tube that just went up and down with the roof because for starters, that would mean the connection would be right up high and it'd be a bit hard to get to. Also, uh, you, it would have to have some kind of bracket that it slid through, but that would mean that it wouldn't be able to have a bracket at the bottom. So when the roof was down, the bottom of the downpipe would just kind of be slopping around and it, if anything hit it, it'd just bend it and damage it. So what I've done is I got a piece of inch and a quarter copper tube and a piece of one inch copper tube, which connects onto the main downpipe. And I got some bushes machine. So this is an external bearing. And then this inner tube has another bearing at the end of it, like a, like a piston. And this will be attached to the downpipe on the roof. The inch and a quarter tube will be attached to the lower body of the truck, which will remain fixed. And this piece of tube will slide up and down with the roof. And then I'll have a fitting on the bottom of the lower piece that I can plug the hose into. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty, it's a little bit complicated just to get it all lined up and sliding up and down is going to take a little bit of, a little bit of nutting out, but that's the next video I'm going to make. So I'll show you the installation process of that, but that's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you for following this journey. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again soon.